three methods topical we've got oral and then we've got injections so starting with injections one of the most important things is the amount of blood you're going to be drawing or the amount of medicine you're going to be administering in terms of where you're taking that is is important on the table so in terms of injection sites we've got intravenous injections uh, there's a couple of places we can draw and administer blood starting with the natural auricular natural auricular small vein Um, we're either going to be administering or drawing small amounts of blood. Um, we actually use the butterfly catheter for this. Butterfly catheter. Because that's what it looks like. The wings are actually just used for guidance. Yeah, so small, we don't use a vacuum container for this. Um, vacuum container, small veins, um, it's going to collapse. So we insert that into the lateral auricular vein, uh, bevel side up, and then we attach um, a syringe to the back end over here, um, and then we can either draw blood or administer medicine. Um, so, so then uh, we've also got the jugular vein. Jugular vein on pigs is difficult to distend, and so if you are going to draw blood from here, it's either going to be done either blind or you're going to have to do ultrasound to look for your look for the vein. Obviously, jugular vein, big vein, you're going to be administering large amounts of medicine or you're going to be drawing large amounts of blood from there. Then the third is the cranial vena cava. This is done on um, smaller pigs. They flipped uh, on their backs and then it's between the first two ribs. Some other, other veins not, not used as often are cephalic, which runs along the front of the leg. And then we've also got the coccygeal vein, which is at the back of the tail here. On pigs, we don't really use the coccygeal vein, but you do in, in uh, animals like cattle. Intravenous, done at a 45 degree angle, so also very important. Okay, so that's intravenous. Then we've got intramuscular. Um, done at 90 degrees with an 18 to 20 gauge, uh, 18 to 20 gauge depending on the size of the animal. Um, it's done behind and below the ear and the neck. And then that's for larger animals, small animals, like we learned in our first session, uh, we've got um, where we might give them iron um, or, or vitamins. That's done in the rump, larger pigs, that's prime meat here and we're putting medicine into it. Then we've also just some other ones, we've got subcutaneous, we've got intraperitoneal, and we've got intradermal. Then in terms of oral medication, that's either put in the feed or in the water, um, and that's for dosing a whole herd. Um, it's it's yeah, easy to administer that way. Um, and yeah, one really important thing is that you want to um, be cleaning the trough or the, or, or the water, water bath that you've, you've administered and, and once you've treated the animals. And then topically, um, that's just either, well, those are your creams, um, sprays, um, dust, eye drops, um, and yeah, that type of thing. Um, and then last one, uh, nasal administrations, just like you would take your nose spray, use a syringe and use a positive through the nose. Thank you.